With China playing an ever-increasing role on the global stage, many people have become interested in how it's managed to rise so fast. As the world's largest developing country, in the past 10 years alone, China has seen unprecedented successes. So, how has China managed to pull itself up the global rankings so fast? This is the mountainous village of Dadiba in southwest China. In the past, drought was a major problem there. The village's only lifeline to the outside world was a small country road. It wasn't until 2007 that the village got electricity. But today, not only is Dadiba connected up to the national grid, but all 2,500 of its residents have been lifted out of absolute poverty. It is one of countless rural villages around China that have undergone this miraculous transformation. Here's a satellite image of Guizhou in 2010. And this is the province now. The number of roads has significantly increased. The change is visible to the naked eye, even when looking from space. So has the amount of infrastructure, telecommunications hubs, public schools. The list goes on and on. In the past decade, China has lifted nearly 100 million rural residents out of poverty. So how was it done? By mobilizing all sectors of the society. One of the things the CPC has done is to send hundreds of thousands of its members to every poor village across the country. Party members with agricultural and economic expertise were tasked with finding unique ways for each village to achieve prosperity, making sure to be as flexible and specific to the local conditions as possible. Such targeted actions have reinforced villagers' unwavering determination to follow the party's leadership. And this is another way the poverty battle was won. The Chinese people firmly support the party's leadership because it consistently delivers tangible results for them. Without theoretical innovation and the people's trust in the party's leadership, these amazing results were far from guaranteed. Now, let's take a look upwards and say hello to Wang Yaping, China's first female astronaut. As she delivers a space class from China's Tiangong space station, Wang and two crew members will orbit Earth for six months in the station. The Tianhe core module of Tiangong has been orbiting Earth since April 2021. The Chang'e 5 probe returned from the moon bringing back samples for scientists to study. On Mars, a rover named Jurong has been exploring the red planet for months. More than 300 Chinese satellites are serving many functions, from navigation, remote sensing for meteorological and marine monitoring, and communications. China's leap forward in space exploration is an example of how the country has broken new ground over the past decade 